Hey, any fash. It is the 17th of March, 2019. And I've been led down a very interesting road here. No pun intended. Um, I was brought back to an article that I did a couple of videos on a couple years ago. Back in late May, early June, 2017. And this article was just put on my spirit to, to go through very thoroughly back then. And I made two or three videos on this. The end of the trail. The giant dead sheep off of the coast of the Santa Monica Pier. You can go look at it on Google Earth yourself. End of the trail. But the beginning of the trail of Route 66 is in Chicago. Okay. And when I saw this image back then, I was told to save that image. You will want that image. And so I did. And I just want to show you the uh, the properties, you know, when I, when I saved this image. June 1st, 2017. That's when I saw this and it was given to me. Okay. Chicago. When I looked this morning at uh, Israel's little tweet account here, they did a tweet this morning. Number five in the countdown. Okay, 5.6 million miles, the distance Bereshit will travel around the Earth's orbit. And you see the little sliver of the moon with the little pyramid or whatever. We could go over that. But what I saw was, you know, they give you the circumference of the Earth. Okay, yeah. Uh, this, then they give you the circumference of the moon. And they say it's roughly the distance from Tel Aviv to Chicago. And that's where Route 66 begins. Okay, now... This sign, when it was given to me, uh, I was told to reduce these numbers and interpret what they meant. And what I was given was that these numbers represent Christ at the crucifixion. The sixth hour, three hours of darkness to the ninth hour. And it was finished, right? Will divide. Bel Air, the duality, the red and blue bloods, the bell prince of the air it's all right there okay will divide now this is just crazy because yesterday i'm out riding around doing some errands and i just happen to look at the odometer of my truck which i rarely do but when i did this is what happened so i'm just driving along here in my little podunk town and i look down and my odometer is reading one one nine nine one one and it's telling it to me in Spanish or French or something yeah so I don't know what you want to make of that uh, but it's uh, March 16th it's like uh, three four o'clock in the afternoon this is my little town y'all <laughs> peace and grace any fish so when I saw that it was kind of on my brain from then on and when I came out this morning and I saw this tweet I I, I see an 11 right away and a 911 is on the brain so I see the Chicago and of course I'm reminded of that route 66 sign because that's how deeply it was embedded in my spirit and you just you just won't get over this, right? The six three nine, the nine eleven, right? I go back to nine eleven because that's what I'm led to do, right? And I put it into the little calculator if I can find it. It's in here somewhere. Bear with me. Nine eleven two thousand one, up to the equinox because this this equinox is really powerful for whatever reason, man. I mean, there's so much going on here. But that's what I was led to go to the equinox. And just, you can't, you just can't get over this. I can't get over this. You can make of it, you know, whatever you like. But 639, 6,399 days, the sixth hour, three hours, the ninth hour, divine completeness, 17 years, the victory over this 69 duality system. You see where I'm going with this? 153,000 hours? That's crazy to me. But it, it didn't end there. Because when I, when I saw this article, right, June 1st, 
2017, I'm led to plug that in as well. And so I do. And I get 657 days. There's a lot we can do with these numbers. But I see the 57. I see the 11. I see the 13. But the 57 really rings out to me. Because it's a triple tau. Which is 3 times 19. Very symbolic in masonry. The secret societies and whatnot. But it's 3 times 19. And this happens to be 1 year, 9 months, 19 days. Or 21 months in 19 days. The triple tau. The 777. The 21. But get a load of this. 93 weeks and 6 days. 9, 3, 6. 6, 3, 9. The devil always turns everything upside down and backwards. You see what I'm saying? But to top it all off, the cherry on top was the 657. And we're talking about the Israelis, the Jews. So I take that 657 and I put it in the concordance. Hebrew 657 and you can't make this up in a million years. It means cessation. That is an end. Especially of the earth. No further. Okay, so I had to share it with you. Because it's crazy. I mean, just look at this stuff. 153,000 hours. 69. The victory. 639. The divine completion. Unreal. So I need to share it. Praise God. Only the Holy Spirit can reveal this kind of stuff. My mind could never fathom this in a million years. So I'll link all this stuff if you're, any of you are interested in looking at it. Because it's fascinating. But it just shows the devil's playground, his little road map, the way he has just through the flesh laid out this whole world, all the architecture, all that you name it, it's his, and we don't belong here, okay? Christ Jesus is the way out. I pray that you know him, <laughs> and I pray this bless someone. Keep looking up. Peace and grace to you all. Any fish? Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 